guys, this is Lucy, coming at you from the only YouTube channel making dreams come true. Today we're going to be playing a game called Sally Face. It's another horror game, so you can kind of see that I like those. Um, I've been hearing about this lately. I know it's coming out in episodes, and they aren't completely done with the game yet. But I heard it was pretty interesting. I've seen that a couple of YouTubers have been playing it, and I figured I'd try my hand at it. So without further ado, I'll just jump right in. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. I already really like the art style. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Well, we said we were in a hospital. What are you talking about? Come and see. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Alright. It's locked. The vibe from this game is pretty creepy. Ooh, something flashed on the dog painting. I didn't see what it was, but I saw a flash like it went to bones or something? I don't know. If you guys saw what that was, put it in the comments, please. Push. There's a key. A key! Q. It's my inventory. The key I found on the floor of the hospital room. It's marked with a five. I wonder if that's important. blood on the pillow. Probably from our face. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Oh, I thought it stopped. I stopped moving for a second for some reason. Okay, D. C. B. A. Um. Okay, so the key said five. But there's only four doors, and this one is blocked off. Um, I guess I'll go for the closest to five, which is four. Okay, well it made a good sounding noise. P. O. N. There's a three. Okay. So maybe the third door down? I believe I came out like this way, so that would be one, two, three. Okay. I think I'm back at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so D. I know it's not N. Maybe we're spelling something? So if it's D... D... O? Okay, that was right. Outside. Oh, look at that art. The background is just so nice. Looks to be a funeral going on behind us. There's a dog. Who's a good doggy? 
Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Diane Fisher, 1948-1984. Beloved mother and wife. Feels kind of eerie to be climbing down into a grave. Oh, there's a number four. I don't know if any of this is important, but I believe we've had a five, a three, and a four now? Open. Batteries not included. It's locked. Okay, well this is probably... So, five... Four? I don't know if I might have missed one because usually passcodes are four. Did I break it? Is that wrong? Oh! Okay. There's a lamp on the ground. Broken up. He's the same color hair as us. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Ooh, I see blood. This is your fault. The music has gone quiet and I'm scared to progress. <laughs> I'm like dying. Oh, I thought it automatically made me stop. This game keeps acting up and like making my character stop. Mom. She looks pretty banged up. Are you? Ooh. That's when I woke up. Ooh, he needs an accent, Dr. Enon. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I'm horrible at accents, by the way, guys, so this is gonna be horrible. I think we should come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. Episode 1 Strange Neighbors. Oh my gosh, what's on her face? I can't move or anything. Oh my god. Is that like a bit of our skin showing through and our eyes are like black? Oh, Dad, this will be our new beginning. I guess I should give him a different voice. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? I'm probably gonna do voice based more on personality than like gender because I'm not very good at male voices Sal's room gizmo Sally face I see you've made yourself at home already gizmo must be nice I like how we jiggle our little ponytails to see in here. Dad's room. Mm, nothing to this side. Talk. Hey kiddo. Er, <laughs> hey kiddo. Decide to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think of this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. 
As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud. But please, try and give it another chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. Can I go past him? There's a quarter on the floor. I can't, like, go up or around things. I can only go straight forward and back. Which is actually probably better because I'm horrible at computer controls. I actually usually play on a console. Leave. Bathroom. Toilet looks disgusting. Sleeping aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Sounds like it's raining by the window, actually. Yeah. Bags. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. So I guess I might as well check out the rest of the place. I think that was my goal. So that's my place, 402. 401. No one's home. Nothing this way. Hello. Why are you standing here? Ooh, he's mean. I need a good voice for him. I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram! I don't get paid for babysitting. Who are you? I'm your fairy frickin' godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid! Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. <laughs> Walk away. There's some cops in my town and, like, at my school that are really nice, and I'm glad they're not like that, because who wants to go for help from someone who's a jerk? Just saying. So we're on floor four. Might as well work our way down. So I'll start with five so that we, after that, we can just keep going down. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Three. Locked. Five oh four. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anybody lived up here. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? Oh, he needs a creepy voice. You shouldn't have come here. Sorry, I was trying to get to know my new neighbors and dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Ooh. What the That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Okay, so leave. Is 
this one I was just in. Yeah. Okay, nothing to this side. And to this side. Locked. Locked. The nameplate fell off of this one, or the number plate, I guess. I wonder what her face looks like. Like, obviously something happened. Caution, wet floor. Can't go past that. I can see someone just a little bit in a red shirt. I hear some weird noise. 302, no one's home. Hello, woman. Hey. Oh my! Sorry, you just startled me a little. You're one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from the others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home, going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha! What do the others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't insult the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. Change subject. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had a crummy first impression. I promise you things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool. Thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison's apartments for as long as I can remember, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too many sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. See you around. Okay. Um, I'm still just gonna work my way down and go to two next instead of the basement. So, two or three. No one's home. Yeah? Who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sal. I moved in today with my dad. I have to come up with a good voice for him. What the heck is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? 
No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff, and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. So... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah... Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own little chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around ya! I got all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. Bask in the glory of my co complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Ew, look at his nose. How long is this gonna last? <laughs> my god, child. Have you never seen My Glitter Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, all the ponies, don't even get me started. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me. You won't regret it. Well, as fun as this was, Charlie seems like the kind of man that a teenage boy should not be in his house alone for a very long time. So I'm just gonna go. to this side. As I said in my last video, I want to apologize if I accidentally change any of the voices a little bit, because it, especially once you start to get on in episodes, it's a little difficult to remember what voices I had. No one's home. I heard a bah and power tools. Hmm. I guess no one's home. <laughs> Nobody's home. If I knock on it enough, maybe they'll answer. There's very obviously somebody home. You know, I used to live in an apartment when I was little, and I always think that they're just a little bit creepy because you never know who was living in the house before you. Addison. Hmm, accent. Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, oh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no! I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Bye. Farewell, friend. Okay then. 401. No one's home. Ooh! Someone out of their house. What's going on? 
Hello, young man. Just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get yourself in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. No one's home. You. Um. Yeah? What do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Ugh. Stupid good for nothing kids. I wonder what would happen if I knocked on her door again. You again? Why do kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. When will this torture end? house before I say hi to them. Nothing of importance here. What the heck was that? Okay, big black shadow, red eyes. Don't go into the kitchen. Larry's room. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry. Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh yeah, come in. Door's open. I have to come up with a voice for him. Oh, okay. Teenage punk looking. Whoa, nice mask. It's prosthetic. Oh, crap. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay. Change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I don't even know what his voice is. I should probably try and give him a different voice. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the jerks couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? Mom says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets the room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it actually comes from this metal band called Sanity Falls. You like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check this song out. Their first single, the full album, comes out in a few months. Oh, 
with little ponytails. I can't tell if there's actual words there, if it's just like made up words. Okay then. What happened in 403? Not that loud, man. What? What is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. I don't know what his voice is. I'm trying to go for like teenage voice cracking type thing, but it's not working. Are you high right now? I wish, man. This was some scary stuff. What happened? Okay. So I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done, Herman told me. Everything, you stupid jerk. She tried to calm down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was so shocked I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the cracks in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. You trust someone you just met. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried and talked to the detective, but he wouldn't listen without any kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. <laughs> What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room, always talking through that little mail slot. He's a real nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say... Addison tea, please, and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. Hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. See ya. Um, is he one of those guys that if I come up again, he want more? No. What's this thing? That's a... It's a police scanner. I can listen in on the local cop chatter. How the heck did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to swine me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this, but won't need to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So, what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make these minutes count. You can use my walkie-talkie to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up, too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at, like, a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little bit more believable. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here. Take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button there to call me. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. This is the dog in the funeral for my dream. I don't know if that's like any kind of connection. Room. It's locked. 
Alright guys, we'll save calling the police for the next time. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in whatever is the next thing that I make.